Hello, my name is Joe. So episode one of the Ridiculous Rhyme Show Silly Sketch Show series was mine and Andy's living room scene, where we are sat in our hand-drawn living room. Obviously at the time it wasn't drawn, so it was just the green screen studio, and then everything was put in later on. We do actually draw reference to the fact that we are in a green screen studio through a rather silly visual gag, which appears within the episode. Ah, I'll get it. Oh, there's no need, there's not really a door. In fact, we're just in a studio. None of this is real. Green screen is a method in filming which enables us to replace the background with another image. It's used a lot in Hollywood because you can replace the green screen with literally anything. So special effects, other video content, uh, drawings, animations, anything you like. If you've got any interest in that kind of thing, make sure you check out our post-production video where you can see how life might be working in post-production or as an editor. I think you can do that by clicking somewhere there, apparently. We used the green screen because we didn't have the budget to transport all of the crew and the kit and everyone to lots of different locations. Because obviously every time you add in a new location, you're adding on time and transport costs. And that was a resource which unfortunately we didn't have. So that was one reason. The other reason we used it is because it gives you a lot of control in post-production, which has been a lot of fun. So adding all of the little hand-drawn images and various illustrations and little animations, that's something which we may not necessarily have been able to do had we filmed it conventionally, just on location. Episode one of the Silly Sketch Show was the first thing that we filmed at the beginning of the shoot. Um, so we arrived at the studio, we had to get our makeup done, get into costume, the crew had to get all the lights and cameras and everything set up. I'm having my makeup done. Uh, makeup is important because not only does it make you look beautiful, but it also stops you shining. I think an hour and a half had probably gone by before we even started recording, and I mean, that's pretty normal for this kind of thing. We decided one day that we wanted some new Mandem for the Posse, and Andrew got on the big red phone, which isn't plugged in, but somehow managed to get miraculously find four lads wearing exactly the same clothes that we're wearing. Magic. Who are you phoning? The boss. The boss was like, uh, well, I don't want to give away the voice, so I'll do a fake voice, but it kind of is, it's like, um, oh, hello, Andrew. That's the fake voice, though. Uh, he was like, what, uh, what do you want? And I was like, oh, can we have some new people? He was like, I'll set up an audition, don't worry about it. OK, love you, bye. They're on their way. That episode probably took the best part of the day to film. So the bit where Andrew and I sat in the chairs took about three or four hours. And then the bit where we're auditioning the guys, where they come to do their performances, um, that was another chunk of time on top. And of course, the green screen studio isn't a full room and all of the cameras and lights are set up facing one way. So when we film the reverse stuff, it's all still happening against the same wall and is then cleverly edited to make it look as if it's going on on the other side if that makes sense. And that's the magic of film. Nothing is real. Hi. Hi. Who are you? Uh, my name is William Williamson. Fun moments to film. Uh, the bit where Andrew is stood at the door and he appears to be looking back at me um, and he says, are you trying to replace me, Joe? Are you trying to replace me, Joe? Are you trying to replace me, Joe? It was filmed after the armchair bit, and he was actually stood in the same place that the armchairs were, and then he had to sort of look back over his right shoulder and look down at a light stand. So his eye line was a light stand, which he had to pretend was me, and I was actually just watching on a monitor. Andrew is a good actor like that. He can pretend that a light stand is me. Are you trying to replace me, Joe? No, Andy. Oh. Dickie doing his fish impression <laughs> was quite fun to watch, so I think we made him do that a couple more times than he actually needed to because that was utterly ridiculous, and that is what we like. Oh, and Henry's awful jokes were quite funny, even though they weren't meant to be. I remember MC laughing at one of his takes, which, we then, which then meant we had to do it again because Henry wasn't actually meant to be being funny. Good one, MC. Thank you for watching this behind the scenes video. To watch another behind the scenes video, click the link there, or to watch the episode that this video is about, you can click the link here. You can also find out about some of our jobs if you click the link up there.